find more games like this one on Indie Game Launchpad. Link in the description. Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're playing the game Grab the Bottle. This game is $9.99. It's made by Kamina Dimensions, and it's available on Indie Game Launchpad. I'm playing with an Xbox 360 controller. Alright, I'm going to play single player mode. First steps. Playtime. Alright, so that's our first level. This is pretty cool comic book style graphics. So baby wants a bottle. We have to grab the bottle. Ready. Grab it. Now we can also grab collectibles. That's obviously not a collectible. Okay. I think we've already lost. I kind of skimmed the instructions. said something about collectibles, but I don't think... Maybe not yet. Alright. We got the bottle. Look at our awesome stretchy arm. Alright. So, grab the binky first, then the bottle. Okay. So the binky was up in the corner. It's one of the collectibles, I think. One of the things you need to collect before you get your bottle. There you go. <laughs> I like the baby laughing. It's adorable. Alright. What about the ball? Something about the ball. Knock the ball down. I can touch the ball. Is that what, you, that what you're saying? I can touch it? Like, boom. Oh, don't touch it. Maybe I, okay, I can poke it. I just need to be careful how I do touch it. I think. My hand was all red for being hit. There you go, baby, don't worry. All right, baby's on the floor and wants the bottle. I can grab blocks. Awesome, uh, okay. Nope. Okay. How do I do this? Oh, okay, so now I'm kind of just dragging it back if I just hold down. I go back over my own arm. No. Oh, okay. Nope, that failure. This is very tricky. Let me kind of wind this back. Can we wind back our arm without holding something? Find out in a minute, I guess. No. Ugh, okay. There you go. Bam. We're doing great. Grab it. Oh, there's two. I want to go back. That's how you go back a bit. There's two pacifiers. I guess we're only- oh, I thought I had the bottle! I guess we're only gonna get one, cause I- I would have to- mm, let's get the f hmm. To me, this is gonna be quite complicated to get both of them. It's like, that's gotta be- ugh. The first one. And then we gotta kinda go back. I'm trying to stay close to my arm. Oh, but because the ball was hit on my arm, it didn't move back fast enough. This is challenging. Oh, well now I just have to let go. I didn't, like, previously go over this. There we go. Should I be attempting to even get these pacifiers? <laughs> Ugh. I 
wish there was a block under here so then I could just sort of... Ah, no. All right, we're gonna only try to get one pacifier because we're obviously not skilled enough to get both. Why are you hurt? Do I have to get both pacifiers? Or something? Because the baby can't take the bottle. Nope. I can't back up, so I don't understand what the best way to do this is. Alright. I don't seem to be able to get the bottle without having the pacifiers. I'm just gonna try to get the bottle. Yeah. No. Okay. Baby, why do you even need two pacifiers? Can you can you explain it to me? Because as a child, I'm an adult and I've decided you don't. I actually am the child, so. In the game, anyway. <laughs> Spoiled baby getting two pacifiers. Ooh. Kind of didn't want the ball to be that into it. Oh, wait, I have an idea. We're gonna take this block all the way back. All the way back through the whole thing. Because I feel like that's the best way to do this. Then we don't have any more arm to hit, and we can just get the second pacifier. And if we don't do it this turn, I'm pretty sure I've got it figured out for the next one, so that's fine. We're gonna twist around there, which is a bit dodgy. Yeah! Took a while, but we worked it out in the end. Alright, we've got two. Where's the cup? Can I break the cup or something? I feel like I should get the cup. Ooh. Oh, I need the cup to break the thing. Okay. We need to die now. The cup is the block that we need. I'm sorry, baby. You need to calm down. We should have grabbed the pacifier first. <laughs> don't think we can fit up there. I don't know why I didn't just grab the pacifier first. Alright. Awesome. Let's bring our arm around here. That'll give us plenty of time to drop the glass. Alright. Very good motor skills, baby. Ugh. There you go. Alright, the baby's out in the trolley. Well, what are those called? Carriages? A trolley's like a shopping cart. What are they called? I know they have a weird name in England. I've tried to adapt to all the weird names, but I've just done that one completely wrong. What? Oh. <coughs> baby, you, this is dangerous. I feel like I've messed all of this up as well. Yeah. I'd cry if I were you. <laughs> 
See, so it's kind of weird that it backs you up. Why does it, why does it back you up? Like, I don't want that. Maybe I'll grab that piece of paper and use it to break that instead of the toolkit. Nope. Kind of needed that though because I need to scoop in there. My goodness, baby. Why are you reaching into someone's window anyway? So many questions, so few answers. Now, CS going backwards confuses me. I feel like, if anything, we should, like, rock forward. Oh, baby's not happy. I didn't grab you. Yeah, let it be clear that I did not grab you. No, I did. And now I'm stuck because my arm. I have no idea how to do this level. My head cannot wrap around it. I can actually look at the level before I start, which is quite nice. Maybe if we start up from the top, but the bottle's at the top. Ugh. Maybe now I'm supposed to, aw. Baby, knock it off. Ugh, I'm supposed to grab that paper ball and then that'll like erase some of my arms so that I have enough. Who knows? Nope. Is there a hint button? Cause like, could probably almost do it. Yeah, it's kind of caught in my, my arm. Which is hilarious. Nope. I'm sorry, baby. Baby, I don't know how to do this one. I mean, we could knock a ball about. Can we even grab this? We can. I feel like we have to use that to like get rid of some of our arm. If not, it's in the way. Does that make sense? Don't want that. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Didn't want that. I want to go back. I have an idea. Just one more time. I'm going to try my idea. And if my idea doesn't work, I'm out of them. I might have to stop. So my idea is to get this one. This is the wrong way. Alright, good. That kind of helped. I want to go down here. This is not my idea. Ugh. Nope, can't fit through there. Hmm. What was my idea? I feel like I had like a really solid idea and then it kind of faded. It was like a way to collect the first three. Alright, I'm gonna just completely restart this. I wanna collect the one I just grabbed first last, I think. Right? Maybe that'll help. Maybe. Alright. Ah, oh, gosh darn it. Baby, I was doing so well. Can you please just not be hurt so easily? I mean, you're made of, like, plastic anyway. All children can just get, like, smacked in the face and they don't even feel it. Well, I am not walking stage. I just feel like when I was a toddler, that's a, like, really incorrect, um, 
comment, don't smack your children in the face, but just when I was a toddler, like, my parents used to drop me all the time, which is a weird thing to say, or I used to run around and just run into stuff. Like, I was an awful baby when it came to, like, accidents and stuff. I just got, I was so clumsy. But I never, like, complained. None of it really hurt. So that was fine, or <laughs> whatever. Like, okay, yeah, yeah, ran into a wall. It's actually a home video of my dad, um, because me and my sister are only a year apart, like a year and two months. So my dad was, um, holding both of us on the couch, and I just started, like, rocking back and forth, and then just, like, rocked forward really aggressively, and, like, barreled out of his lap and smashed my face on our, like, coffee table, which was, like, this thick wooden table. And just, like, sat on the floor and didn't even, wasn't bothered. <laughs> So I feel like I was an indestructible child, if that makes sense. I feel like my sister was also indestructible. Now this piece of paper is going to give me a whole new start. I'll start all the way back at the beginning. There you go. Ah, oh, crap. See, now I've probably messed it up. You see where I'm going with this. Now I kind of need to grab. Oh, I'm so glad that worked out well. That would have been horrible if I got nicked on the plant of the box. I would have been really disappointed. Bam. That level took far longer than it should have. I wonder if we're gonna like grow up. This, this is gonna be the story of our life and all the different drinks we drink. Ah, okay. This is Mr. Potato Head. Oh, I think I need to wreck the sand castle. Yeah. Ooh, that button like restarts everything. Cause I need to do this first. Ooh. I'm probably going to drop Mr. Potato Head again to use this second time because currently we have a barrier around the bottle. Can't have that. So we're going to use Mr. Potato Head twice, I feel. Once to sort of get rid of all of the arm stuff we've already done. Oh, but Mr. Potato Head breaks. Do we need Mr. Potato Head? Hmm. How do we do this? I have no idea, because the ball is sort of stuck. Yeah, the ball can't do anything else. These levels got really challenging. All right, yeah, so I guess that, if I drop it just right, we should be fine. Ah, crap. There we go. Alright, Mr. Potato Head. We have to drop it. I don't even think we went out far enough. We need to come out of our crib at more of an angle. It's definitely not a crib. It's definitely called something else. Param! That's what it is. Out of our param. Stroller. Oh, look at that. Wow, we're amazing. I'm awesome. Cool. Anyway, I'm going to stop here. If you'd like to check this game out, there'll be a link in the description. And if you'd like to check me out, ooh, all my info is awesome in the description. Thank you very much for watching and liking and commenting. Bye.